There's a lot of shadows going on here. I look quite contrasted, don't I? I don't even, uh, I don't even know what video I'm recording yet. I'm just kind of, <laughs> just gonna go for it. What's up everybody D-Man back welcome to a brand new video this one should not be long today We are gonna be doing an explanation video for it's actually the first discussion video We're doing on Godzilla Aftershock the book's been out for a while now for a few months and I haven't talked about it yet So I figured it's time I start doing videos for it I was gonna wait the reason it took me so long is because I was gonna wait to get an official version of it Like a digital version, but I don't really want to spend another $25 on it when I already spent and $50 on this so we're gonna have to work with the quality of the images that we have all right all right let's jump into this one and we'll talk about the member of Godzilla species known as Dagon Dagon actually goes by a few names in the comic book there are a few different names that people refer to him as but Dagon is the one that has been settled as his official name we learn about Dagon because Godzilla aftershock opens in the 11th century BC in southeastern Europe there's a group of villagers who worship this member of the Godzilla species. As we learn from Godzilla King of the Monsters, ancient civilizations coexisted with the Titans, and this is one of the Titans that people coexisted with. Like I said, he's referred to as a lot of different biblical characters or names from different religions and mythologies. He's also referenced along with multiple specific locations that have religious implications. Again, this is just continuing the idea that the Titans are the first gods. Like I said, this monster is named Dagon, which is taking inspiration from Lovecraft so there's some Lovecraft inspiration going on here although if you're like me the only reason you know who Dagon is is because Vilgax teamed up with him in Ultimate Aliens finale so there you go actually Vilgax kind of became him but that's irrelevant at this point Dagon was an ancient member of the Gojira species because the species isn't called Godzilla Godzilla is the name of the character the species is called Gojira at least as far as we're aware Dagon was worshipped by people all over the world until the 11th century. The reason they stopped worshipping him is because he gets beaten in a fight against this creature called Muto Prime. So he's beaten in a fight and then he's killed so he can't really be worshipped when he's dead. They just turn their gaze towards Godzilla instead. But Dagon's killed in a fight with Muto Prime. He actually dies in the Philippines as a result of this battle and slowly decomposes and becomes part of the ground. Eventually a cave formation comes over his body and he's discovered, or his body anyways, is discovered in 1999 when a mining company drills into the pocket of earth and causes it to collapse, unearthing Dagon's corpse. This causes a chain reaction as a result that ends with one of the eggs because there were two eggs planted inside of Dagon's body by Muto Prime, two parasitic eggs. One of the egg hatches, the creature escapes through the mountain that Dagon is dead inside of and heads for the nearest source of nuclear energy sufficient enough for it to gestate on. The other spore is taken to Nevada by the US government after being deemed dormant by Monarch. If you couldn't tell based off not only the description but also the footage used this is an origin story for the Godzilla body found at the beginning of Godzilla 2014 now initially that wasn't always clearly a Godzilla body there was some debate about that some speculation back around 2014 of whether it actually was a member of the Godzilla species Sarazawa and Graham seem to think it is but it's also too small and much older than the current Godzilla so it couldn't quite be the real Godzilla but it was maybe one of his species this book here confirms that it was was one of the Godzilla species. It was the member called Dagon. Dagon's body is actually later on turned into a monarch outpost after being discovered in 1999 that is visited by Emma Russell in 2014, where they have transformed this area around the bones into a full monarch system and command center. Like I said, we're just doing a short little one here because I'm going to break up the Godzilla aftershock topics because there's no real point in doing them all at once. So there you go. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Quick and easy Godzilla explained video right there. See you guys next time. D-Man, out.